What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing an all-time great combo for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We got ourselves Don Dozo and Tatsugiri in ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Don Dozo and Tatsugiri, this combo was absolutely broken when the game first came out. But ever since new regulations kept coming out, new Pokemon being added to the game, this kind of fell off a little bit. But again, this combo is still good, which is why I want to showcase today. But let's talk about it a little bit. Don Dozo has Unaware with the Covert Cloak as its item. A great item for his Pokemon. Rocking the Grass Terror type with Protect, Rock Slide, Order Up, and then one of the strongest physical attacking water moves, Wave Crash. To pair up with Don Dozo, we got Tatsugiri. Commander, Bright Powder as its item. Rocking Muddy Water, Dragon Pulse, Ice Wind, and Helping Hand. I love this Tatsugiri moveset. A restricted Pokemon on today's team going to be Calyrex with As One and a Life Orb to make it do crazy damage. It's got Protect. Terror Blast, Expanding Force, and Astro Barrage. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Rillaboom, Indeedee, and Gudra. Rillaboom and Indeedee can both set terrain. Rillaboom can also do some big time physical attacking damage, whereas Indeedee is more of a support Pokemon. And Gudra is a nice bulky Pokemon with Acid Armor, Life Dew, Body Press, and Heavy Slam. Can't go wrong with this Pokemon. Guys, you want to rent this team super yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing Don Dozo and Tatsugiri in Regulation G. Going up against a Zapdos Rain squad with Latios, so a couple off meta Pokemon we're seeing in match number one. But uh, they got Kyogre as a restricted Pokemon, they're rocking out with Urshifu, they got Archer Ludon, and on top of that, they got Rillaboom. So their team really focuses on rain, and of course we have no weather control, but I like Rillaboom here, I like Don Dozo, I probably want to go Don Dozo and like Rillaboom for our lead. I think that could be pretty solid. I mean, what's your terror type, Rillaboom? Because you might have to deal with a hurricane, but it is grass. I mean, you could do some damage. But I still feel as Don Dozo, or I could go Don Dozo Calyrex. That's not bad. That is not bad. I mean, they could set up Tailwind, but at the same time, we can get off some big time damage. So you know what? I'm gonna go Calyrex, I'm gonna go Don Dozo, and I'm gonna make Tatsugiri in the back end with him. That is something I really like. We're gonna look to get after it and try to pick, her, pick up a nice little win here in match number one. But a really cool Pokemon that they have, which I hope they bring, is going to be Latios. I just think Latios is so dope. It's just such a cool looking Pokemon. It's legit a jet. It's a dragon and a jet combined to make Latios. Super dope. But they end up going with Urshifu, and that is Dark Urshifu, alongside with Kyogre. Now from here, I mean, I could just, you know, go for an order up and swap into Tatsugiri if I want to, because I am scared of Sucker Punch. Obviously, Sucker Punch is a little scary. I do have the Grass Terror, but I don't feel as we have to use it. I think just going for an Order Up could be pretty good. I could go for Rock Slide. I could go for a Wave Crash just to look to dump into you. But chances are you are Focus Ash. But I think Order Up is going to be our play. Hmm. I mean, Calyrex, what's your Terror type? Yeah, Water. It's not bad. I still feel as we swap it. I think we go for an order up into Kyogre, and then we just hard swap into Tatsugiri. We get all these boosts. I'm cool with it. We'll save her Calyrex for the back end. Nice fast Pokemon. If I can eventually just get rid of this, uh, this Urshifu, I feel like Calyrex will just have much more value. You could have Thunder with the Kyogre, which could be a little scary, but I, I like where we're sitting here. I do like where we're sitting. The nice little attack boost, special attack boost, speed, special defense, and regular defense. All five of them going plus two. Love this little ability right here. And hopefully somebody is attacking that Calyrex slot. I'm going to go for an order up. I outspeed now. I am going to do a decent amount of damage. And on top of that, I'm going to get a nice little attack boost. So Wicked Boy is going to fire. They did read the swap out here. A little tough news on my end. And he's going to go for an Origin Pulse. Can I dodge this? Of course I don't dodge it. How much damage are we doing? Not that much. All right. So I think going for a wave crash into this, uh, into this what's called could be good for us, which I am going to do, into this Urshifu, because you could end up just protecting Kyogre this turn, or maybe even swapping it, yep, there's protect, slide this one over, hit this thing with a wave crash, if it's not focus ash, you are dead, you're a goner, and I'm hoping you're not focus ash. And of course you're focused at. So I'm going to take some recoil damage. He's going to wake up. He's going to finish me off. Not that bad. I feel like we got off some nice value out of here. And I feel as we can just bring out our Tatsugiri. Because, well, Tatsugiri is going to pop out here. And I can just start throwing Icy Moon just to slow down. And even KO this Urshifu. Like I said, if I can KO this Urshifu, I feel like we're sitting in a solid position. 
this guy is rocking left arms. I could just go in the robe and force maybe a hard swap. Or even just fake out this turn. But again, I think I'd rather just go into Calyrex. And just protect an Icy Wind. He hits through protect, but that's scary. Do you outspeed? What's your speed here, little fish? 143. I don't know if you outspeed. That's my problem here. That is my problem. You know, we're just going to go into Robum here. We are just going to go into Robum. Play it safe. We will just play it safe. Because I really don't want to die out to this uh, to this thing right here. So I can fake out uh, Urshifu if I want to. Go for Icy Wind. I could just go for Grass Glide. I mean, who could you swap into here? I think we just go straight into Grass Glide here. I'm going to Grass Glide, and on top of that, I'm going to go Icy Wind just in case he wants to swap into somebody else. We get a little bit of speed control here. There's going to be a swap of Urshifu, which is kind of tough for us. We still have Terror Type, which is wonderful. And Zapdos is going to fly out here. And he's going to end up clicking that Terror button, which is a little scary. Are you going into the Grass Terror here? I hope you're going into water. Chance are it's Grass, right? No, normal. Okay. It's not bad. It's not terrible. You're probably rocking Ice Beam, which is what you want to do. But I like the speed control that we're getting here. Grace Guy going to fly. Chip up some nice damage. Icy Wind's out speeding. We're going to lower speed of both these Pokemon, unless one of them are Cover Cloaked. Any guys Cover Cloaked? I don't think so, right? No. Okay, so speed's going to drop here. Calm Mind's going to boost up. That's fine. I mean, I can go for another Icy Wind. I can also Wood Hammer into this, uh, this Kyogre. I could. I could. We have options right now. We have options with all this first turn priority. Or not first turn priority, with all this speed control here. I think that's in my... You're probably going to protect. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm not going to sit here and lie. You're probably going to protect. I might just U-turn pivot here. We go for a wood hammer. I could wood hammer you down. Could go into wood hammer here too. I'm going to double down this slot. Actually, muddy water would do more. He ends up not protecting. That sucks, man. I could have doubled down into him. That's fine. We're still going to KO the Zapdos, which is good news. So Zapdos is gone. Zapdos is gone. And Kyogre, what are you going for here? I'm surprised you didn't protect there. Really surprised. You go for another Combine boost. I'm cool with that. I'm so cool with that. My Robin can KO you. And I outspeed you with Tatsugiri. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He does get back a nice chunk of HP, but knowing that my Robum outspeeds, it's massive. I can just drop a Wood Hammer. Wow, a double con mind boost. That's a little big mistake, kind of. And I'm going into Robum. I mean, you can fake out my Robum now. Um, I wish I had Protect. This is a bit tougher for me now. Could hard swap, but I mean, Calyrex is out speeding. I mean, I gotta go for Woodham here. And I gotta go for an Icy Wind. Alright, let's see how this one plays. Who's he faking out? It's just protecting Kyogre. Alright. So it protects Kyogre, which is odd to me. And I'm just gonna be able to Icy Wind to slow down. And just keep targeting down this Kyogre. That double combine just wasn't the play. I thought you were going to fake out Robum. I mean, that, that should have been your play to fake out Robum. He just wants more HP back. Because Woodhammer is going to take out Kyogre all day. It's taking it out. You have no defensive boost here. They're all special defense boost. And he's going to U-turn pivot. And now this is where things get a little scary. This is where things get a tad bit scary. Because of this Urshifu right here. He could Sucker Punch KO me. But Rain's gone, which actually kind of helps us out a little bit. Rain's gone. Icy Wind will still KO Urshifu. Um, we could just go for Muddy Water instead. But this thing's actually getting back a ton of HP. This might come back to bite us, because that normal Terror type, actually really good for him. And what Terror type do we have with you? Because we still have Water Terra. I could go into a Dragon Terra and look to do some damage, but I just think that's not our play. I really don't think it's our play. I'm going to go for a Grass Guy. just look to do as much damage as I can to this Kyogre. And I'm just going to go for an Icy Wind here. Just to keep speed under control. I could go for Muddy Water, but... 
Muddy Water uh, accuracy is kind of a little weird for me. So there's a Sucker Punch, which sucks, man. It's going to KO me. I could have swapped there. I could have. But, I mean, Kyogre's probably going for a big-time move. Icy Wind's going to fly here. It's going to KO the Urshifu, which is great. That gives me a chance with my Calyrex. But this Kyogre... Mmm. Not liking it. Combine plus two. He's going to go for Ice Beam. Do you soak that? You're water typing. You do soak that. That's that's big time for us. All right. So now we now we came to play. I mean, they got Ursh or Rillaboom in the back end, which is a little tougher on our end. Making me not want to terrestrialize my... Uh, making me not want to terrestrialize my... Calyrex. What do I even do here? I kind of need a crit, right? <laughs> this Calyrex. Well, not Calyrex. This guy is going crazy. Is that sitting here with Robum? They can fake me out. Um, let's go for a helping hand boost. I can't hit you with Astro Barrage, which is terrible. Water Terror Blast. Not really doing much. I don't. I don't even want to rasslize you. We're just gonna go for Expanded Force into you with a helping hand. You should be able to soak pretty well. What do I go Dragon Terror with you? I think you're, you're faking out my... What's it called? I think you're faking out my Tatsugiri. So I'm going to go for Helping Hand. So Helping Hand comes out here. Rasta Guy's going to fly. Did we soak that? I should Trastalize you. You get a crit too. Come on, man. Come on, man. And now how much damage Expanded Force doing? We kind of need a crit here. This thing's plus two in Special Defense. He's out bulking shots all day. That's going to be game. He's just going to hit me with an Origin Pulse, aren't you? Go for Combine again, yo, man. I hate you. I hate you. Honestly, I thought we had that match after he Combine boosted twice. But then realizing they had so much first turn priority with Rillaboom, with uh, Urshifu, it kind of just did me dirty. So GG's to our opponent. Great call for them to Combine and uh, use their back end Pokemon to really help out this Kyogre. So yeah, I'm just going to run this one. We're not going to be able to KO Kyogre. I mean, he could honestly just like protect here. Actually, we got to give it a shot. We got to give it a shot. We have Water Terror. I don't really want to use it just yet. I think I have to use it next turn. Because I think they protect Kyogre here. And they might go for Grass Guy. No, they don't even protect Kyogre. But Astro Barrage, how much damage are you doing to Roll Boom? Enough. Hold up. Hold up. Are you going for Water Move? If you go for like Origin Pulse and we dodge it, we have a shot. Unless you're just going for Water Spout. I think Water Spout could do enough damage here. Let's see. What are you going for? Origin Pulse. Do we dodge it? Hold up. Hold up. We're plus one now. We're plus one now. Give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Give me a chance. We might win this one. I was going to run it. I was going to run this. We go for Expanded Force now. Now, if Expanded Force can do about half, a little bit more than half, I should be able to get off two shots because you're going for Origin Pulse. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm still in this. I was going to run this. I'm still here. I'm still here and I'm using my Terror type at the last second. He protects Kyogre. Now he knows we have this Terror type. Which isn't bad. I mean, it's not bad at all. Unless you have Thunder. Thunder would be the only move. But I don't think you have Thunder. I think you got Water Spout. I think, well, you showed you have uh, Origin Pulse. You showed you have Combine. You showed you have Ice Beam. And if I had to guess, the last move has got to be Water Spout. So, we're sitting plus one. I am going to huck a nice little Expanded Force at you. Let's see. Let's see how much damage we're doing. He's plus three, though. He might just combine boost up completely. Span Force, just give me a crit. Help me out a little bit. That's not bad damage. That's not bad damage. He's going to protect, though. What move are you going for? You're, you're, going, you're looking just to combine boost all the way up. Oh, man. Come on, Calyrex. I need you. Obviously, he's protecting here. I wish I had, like, Nasty Plot. This would be such a simple play for me to just be like, hey, we're going to Nasty Plot here. And <laughs> go do it that way. That would be such a simple play. But we'll go for another expanding force. He's going to protect get those leftovers HPs. He's probably going to try to do the same thing. I don't know. I don't know. That might be the turn for him to just attack. I think he wants to go max out on everything. Because he's plus four, isn't he? He's plus four, which is looking a little scary. But the problem with giving me more chances to attack is I get, a more, I get more chances at critting. That's what's good about it. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> That's terrifying. We'll go for Expanded Force. How much damage are we doing here? Give me a crit. One more will KO. Or cut it close. We lose some HP due to Life Orb. He's going to go for Origin Pulse, which we dodge again. Oh, man. I feel bad. 
I feel bad. I honestly I don't know how much damage that's gonna do. I really don't. So honestly, he can eat up one more expanded force with leftovers. He's gonna protect, get it back. Um, he's gotta hope that he KOs me next turn with Origin Pulse. Right? I think he has to. He has to hope that he can do that. I am gonna lose a little bit of HP due to uh, expanding force. But man, oh man, what a first match here. Win or lose, this is just a solid match all around. Man, he gets back so much HP with leftovers and just protecting. The Expanded Force flies again. One more should do the trick. Even if you get leftovers HP here and protect. But can we soak this Origin Pulse? We don't even soak this Origin Pulse. So, two Miss Origin Pulses gets my hopes up. We end up losing this match regardless. GG to this Kyogre. Moving on to match number two, and we're going up against Ditto. Now, Ditto was a Pokemon that I actually was going to use in today's video, but ultimately, I decided on using Dantozo and Tatsugiri. Now, they have Groudon, which is kind of annoying because that takes away some of my Wave Crash damage. And they do have Robum, so maybe we might not even want to bring in, uh... We might not even want to bring in... Our Dantozo and Tatsugiri combo, because that could just be tough in the sunlight. To be honest, we could go Gudra here. Try to boost our defense with Acid Arm. We have a great Terra type of Fairy. That's not bad. Actually, I like Gudra here. I like the old Acid Arm play. Alright, you know what? We're going to go Gudra here. We're going to end up leading it with uh, Rillaboom. Just for fake outs, maybe turn one. And then go into Ndidi and Calyrex in the back end. So yeah, Tatsugiri and Dondozo. Not going to come in here in match number two as much as I want them. I just feel like if they set the sun or when they set the sun with Groudon, we're just going to have a tough time with them. Because Order Up does mediocre damage, let's be honest. It does boost your attack. But Wave Crash is it's bread and butter, right? Plus they have Rillaboom on top of that. They got a decent amount of physical attackers besides, obviously, Sylveon looking a little tough. So if I can get some Acid Armor going with Ultra, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So we'll see who they want to play here and how they want to do it. We do have Heavy Slam on Gudra as well, which is great up against any Fairy type Pokemon. Wonderful up against any Fairy type. Yeah, I'll look to fake out maybe U-Turn Pivot this turn. It really depends on who they go into. Because if they go in the ground, we're going to fake it out and then acid armor. And then we can just like hard swap into a DD. And then we'll see how that plays. We'll see how that plays. But I'm kind of hoping they just don't even leave ground on. Hoping no ground on. All right. Let's get it. It's time for a win here. We lost that last match. Kyogre Combine boosting. Going crazy with normal terror type. It's so odd too. It ends up going Pex and ground on. I mean, fake out is definitely going to be a player. We have to boost our defense with acid armor. Um... It could Toxic me, which we don't like. I mean, we got Steel Typing, but we're changing our typing. Not this turn, but maybe next turn. I'm going to go for Acid Armor. Nice little Acid Armor play here. And we are just going to go for a Fake Out right into this Groudon slot. No point for me not to. Because right now, you can't Toxic me. Or you can't Toxic my Gudra, because I am Steel Typing. But I am scared of the Ground Shot, so we might want to just Trastalize next turn. And see how it plays out. But Toxic Specs, what are you going for? you got to be going for, like... Toxic spikes, toxics, just poison moves, right? You have to be trying to poison me up. Might even go for like a baneful bunker this turn. I don't know, yo. Toxic Specs is a it's an odd Pokemon. It's an odd little Pokemon. Really cool Pokemon. I love Toxic Specs. I actually use it in my Sun and Moon playthrough, so. I think it's a dope Pokemon. So we just fake out the ground on here. Make that bad boy flinch. We're gonna go for a nice little acid armor. Boost their stats up a little bit. And there goes a Toxic into my Rollboom slot. Alright, I mean... You do you, I guess. You do you. Um, I could go for Grass Guide into Groudon if I want to. I mean, I definitely want to go for, like, Body Press. Or, like, something to start trying to get after this Toxic Vex. But is it worth Terrastalizing here? Yeah, I think we double down to Groudon. I think we just try to get rid of it. Because can he KO you? Maybe with Heat Crash. That'd be the only thing I see. But I think you, you, you might go for Blades here. That's my whole thing. I think I'm going to double down to Groudon. Look, just get rid of it. Deal with Toxic Specs later with like Expanded Force. So we'll see a Terror type pop out from him. Is it going to be Groudon? It's got to be Groudon. It has got to be Groudon. And it is going to be Groudon. He's going into Fire type. You little biscuit. So he's just going to dump on my Rillaboom here. He's just going to dump on my Rillaboom. No good. We should have swapped it. But again, I do like Calyrex out here. I do like Calyrex in the late game. 
This Mana Force can really just, you know, sweep this match. So we're looking to do some damage. They already used Tyro, which is good, so I don't really have to worry about Toxic Packs. Woodhammer's gonna fly. We were out speeding too. Wow, this Woodhammer would have did ridiculous amount of damage. We would have probably just KO'd. We would have probably just KO'd. There goes Blades out here. Rillaboom should soak that, which is good news. Yeah, and Guja soaks that, no problem. Body Press is gonna fly. Chip up some nice damage. And he's gonna go for Chilling Water here to lower my attack stat. Okay, so I might just U-turn Pivot with him. Um, <clears throat> on the other hand, I could protect. He's gonna look to kind of toxic my, my Guja here, which is definitely in his best interest. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna protect Guja here and U turn pivot roll boom. I do like that play. Actually, I don't have protect on you. Kinda sucks. I could life do for some HP, but. Going in body press is gonna be a play. I'm gonna go for body press, and if I can, I'm pretty sure I can. I think we just U turn pivot out of here. I'm gonna go for another wood hammer, double down, and Groudon. That's an option, because. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do that. Actually, I'd rather just Woodhammer Toxic Pex. Let's do some damage to Pex. Let's do some damage to Pex. Woodhammer gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing to Pex? It's pretty bulky defensively. Plus or minus one on attack. He crash gonna fly here. And how much damage is this doing to my Gudra? Gudra should so. Gudra, how much damage is this doing? Oh, yeah, all day, Gudra. All day, Gudra. Just a bulky little Pokemon. Body Press gonna leave you on one HP, and he's gonna Toxic my boy here. Really sucks that you Toxic him. Okay, uh, I mean, another wood hammer wouldn't be bad. I like our po I like our Pokemon once we get rid of these two. I love Indeedee and Calyrex in the back end. I really do. So Toxic's just going to be a slow chip up here. Um, Gucci gets back a decent amount of HP from both Terrain and Leftovers. And I think our best bet here is still U-turn and pivoting our roll boom. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to body press look to get rid of Groudon, and then I'm just going to U-turn pivot. Uh, roll boom here. The body press. Let's go for the U-turn pivot because fake out later in the game could just be huge. It really can be. They might protect the Groudon. I doubt it. But if they do, they do. I mean, I'm thinking we just bring out Calyrex and he just goes for Baneful Bunker. That's fine. He Baneful Bunkers up. Are you double protecting? Don't double protect. So we get rid of Groudon, which is it's huge. That's huge. Getting rid of Groudon is huge. Getting ready to ground on Siege. She's gonna go for Blades. My Pokemon Soak. Robum's gonna die out to Toxic. No big deal. And now I'm pretty sure we just wanna bring out Calyrex, right? Or do I bring out Indeedee? Because I'm thinking we bring out Calyrex and we just hard swap Gujra into Indeedee and then expand and force away, right? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Gujra gets back some HP. Toxic probably does about the same amount of damage this turn than that. Another body press would be nice too, because that's some big time damage from Gudra. So bye bye, Rollaboom. Thanks for playing. Thanks for doing your job. Helping out our lovely Gudra and helping us get rid of that Groudon. Getting rid of that Groudon is massive. So they don't have Terra. We don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, now's a good turn to spring a Calyrex. I'm going to do that. Little bit of Calyrex action. So I'm hoping they have no Pokemon that can really soak expanding forces. And Rillaboom is going to come out here, so yeah, this is a great time for us to just swap into, uh... Just to swap into our, what's it called? Our Indeedee. And just start launching expanding forces. What could your final Pokemon be? Sylveon? Sylveon or Ditto? This is fine by me. I'm fine. I'm fine with this. Oh, you guys want to see something cool? Invisible Water. Pretty sick, right? Now my 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 cup is just green, so <laughs> it's just with the green screen. But we're gonna swap. We're gonna go right into Indeedy. I mean, Toxpex's not gonna survive this. Roboom, maybe, maybe. I mean, Roboom's probably just faking out the Gudra here. He's probably trying to like toxic up here. But yeah, I'm going right into Psychic Seeds, right into Expanded Force. Don't have to worry about any Terror types, which is awesome. Expanded Force is gonna fly. Can we KO Roboom with this? I'm really curious. We almost do. We almost do. They don't have grass terrain anymore, so if you're going for wood hammer, we should soak. And you might just die out the recoil, which could be huge. But I lose some life orb damage. He is gonna go for the wood hammer. You should soak this. No terrain. 
do so can and you die out to recoil thank you very much for sitting in a wonderful position now i mean i can follow me away i can help and hand boost a shot a lot of different options here depending on who your final pokemon is right because if it is cat or ditto here that could be weird and it is and it is ditto so now it's just is this all just a speed tie Is this just a speed tie? I think it's just a speed tie here. Oh man. It's a speed tie. Oh <laughs> shot, yo, we're speed tying here. Um He can't hit my Ndidi with a lot of moves, so I mean we're just gonna attack. Can I win the speed tie? No, I can't. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't win the speed tie. I need you, Ndidi. I need you. Oh man, I get confused. Oh, okay, okay. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. A little confusion action. Oh man, I lost a speed tie. I I knew RNG wouldn't help me out. I knew it wouldn't help me out at all. Got to go for another alluring vo voice here. We gotta go for heavy slam. We're gonna actually hope that this thing actually hits itself in confusion. That'd be awesome. Go ahead, do it. Hit yourself in confusion. Give me some RNG. Let's go. That's massive. That's massive. That's huge. That's huge. A lowering voice comes out here. Chipping up even more damage. Heavy slam. Just finish this thing off. Do me do me a solid. Let's go, Gudra. Let's go. Thank God. I was gonna say, if I lose to RNG, that would have been terrible. That would have been terrible. But hey, great match for us. We got to see Ditto in match number two. And more importantly, we picked up a W. Final match for today's video coming at you guys, Coridon and a bunch of Protosynthesis Pokemon. They got Fluttermane, they got Sandy Shocks, and then their final three gonna be Umbreon, Golden Go, and Rillaboom. Um, we have no weather control, which really sucks for Don Dozo and Tatsugiri because we know they're gonna want to bring in the weather. Um, I could go Indeedy, I could go Calyrex here, which is okay. The only problem here is like, hmm, is like the weather, man. I can't control it. I can't control the weather, and that really. It really bothers me because I don't have speed control either. Um, you have 222 speed, but you're flying. But I mean, a protosynthesis flutter me could just shadow ball you down and really, really do you dirty. But I still feel as going into you is actually not bad with Indeedy. That's something I do really like. So I'm going to go into both of them. And I'm going Don Dozo Tatsugiri in the back end. Screw it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Even in the sun. Order up can still do some big time damage. Rock slide. I'm all about it. We're looking for a win here in match number three. Looking for a winning record. That was a solid second match. I was sitting there, I was like, we should be fine as long as they don't bring in Ditto. And then I see Ditto come out here, I'm like, dude, if I lose this speed tie, luckily they hit themselves in confusion, and I was able to just dump on it with a heavy slam and a lowering voice. But it worked out fine, everything worked out in their favor. But they're gonna end up going into these two, um, whose terrain's going first? Show me Robum's terrain's going first. Yes, so we get terrain control right off the rip, that's massive, that's huge. Um... This seems like a a helping hand, what's it called kind of play? Astro Barrage kind of play, right? So, I mean, you can't fake me out. Seems like a good play for me, right? You could go Steel Terror type, but this seems like a fair play to me. I mean, Expanded Force could happen, but it's not very effective over there. So, I'd rather just, you know, send that that way and go for the helping hand. I mean, it's pretty simple. I'm 222 speed. You can't fake me out. You could go for a grassy guy. Actually, you, you won't even have first priority with grassy guy. We got terrain, so this is a hot start for us. So I go for a helping hand. I say bye bye to gold to go. I don't know why that thing's on the field still. Or dealing with trash lines. Unless you're focused, Ash. I doubt it though. This might be a double KO. It's a single KO. I love it. I love it. So we pick up a KO. We're plus one on special attack now. As long as I outspeed whoever he has to bring out, we should be good here. I mean, I do have follow me, which is good news. And he's gonna woodhammer me down, but I should soak this. I do soak it. I do soak it. And he died at the recoil. So pretty much the same thing that happened last battle. They used wood hammer. I was like, I should soak it. I soaked it. And then they died at recoil. It's exactly the same thing that happened. Which is kind of funny. So now they're down to their final two Pokemon. And as long as they don't have any double hitting moves. I'm kind of hoping it's like Sandy Shock's Coridon. But it's probably Fluttermane Coridon. It's Umbreon. That's, that's massive. It doesn't get bigger than that. Because one, we outspeed. And two, I can help in hand. And, you have, and three, you don't have a first turn priority. Thanks for playing. Do I do that or do I do this? I think Astro Barrage was still KO. I'm all about it. 
Well, bad. You don't have any first turn priority, right? Umbreon doesn't learn Sucker Punch. No. No, 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 no. I don't have to worry about it. They might just cancel this match. So, typical Calyrex and DD showcase here in match number three. Just helping hand. Big time moves. But what are you going into here? We still have Dondozo Tatsu, which is good. Bulky Pokemon that can chip up damage late in the game. He's going to go into the Fire Terror type. I, I see you, but I don't think that's helping too much. I do not think that's helping too much to for this Helping Hand Astro Barrage. I do not think it's helping you. I think you still die out of this. This is just ridiculous damage. Yep, Karidon's gone, and it did half to Umbreon, so GG's to our opponent here. Match number three, gonna go to your boy, add that, or we can check off another winning record on the channel. Sweet. Awesome. Just what I wanted in third and final match. Just a, a nice, simple Calyrex and DD play. He's gonna end up foul playing in DD. That's fine. I mean, you leave my Calyrex on the field, and I get a sweep. Awesome. Dope. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll just go for a lowering voice this time behind it. And I think they just cancel match. Yep. Nice little sweep there. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Don Dozo and Tatsugiri getting after it in rank regulation G. We only use it in match number one, but still, I feel like this combo is still pretty strong in regulation G. We had Roboom, we had Calyrex, we had Ndidi, and Gujar all get to be showcased today. And they all did wonderful, especially because we got that 2-1 winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.